Today I'm going to share some thoughts about rage applying, rage quitting, and why you shouldn't engage in either. I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. People hire me for no BS coaching and career advice globally because I make things easier for people professionally. That can relate to a job search, hiring more effectively, managing and leading better, dealing with workplace issues or career transitions. I make things easier. Rage applying is a vogue TikTok term for blasting out copies of your resume to the companies when you feel underappreciated, mistreated at work, or overall just pissed off. It's the same as doing resume submissions and traditional online job searches. However, ragers may not be thinking clearly, which is a big difference. If that's you, your judgment can be impaired by your rage and hatred and cause you to make poor decisions. Often, angry people will accept any job to get out of their firm, get away from their boss, rather than carefully exploring chances that can provide future growth potential, more money, and a better corporate title. In a market like the one that we're in, it's often risky to rage quit without a job. It can take a while to find a new position because of the competition for jobs right now. And interviewers are going to ask you why your resume shows such a gap in your background. And most of you won't have an answer better than, I was angry, or words to that effect. I was talking with someone yesterday who rage quit. Uh, he was in a role felt as though opportunities that were presented to him at the time he was hired weren't going to materialize, and he quit. Now, I gave him a good way to explain it on an interview, but the fact of the matter is, he's stuck right now. He had a gap after graduation, and now he's got a gap after a year of working. Having gaps in your background doesn't serve you. And thus, when you're interviewing, you have to have a plausible reason for why you quit. And saying you were angry just won't cut it. Now, if you want some advice about your unique situation, you can schedule time with me through my website, thebiggamehunter.us, where you can schedule time for what I call trusted advisor services. We spend about a half hour talking. I'll give you some advice about how to explain it in a way that the interviewer will understand and not hold your decision against you. Hope you found this helpful. I'm Jeff Altman. Again, the website is thebiggamehunter.us. There's a lot in the blog that can help you. And if you want help with your job search, hiring more effectively, managing and leading better, dealing with workplace issues, you can schedule time for a coaching session with me, or if you're not sure, a free discovery call. I want to help. You can also find out about my courses, books, and guides. The blog has a ton of great information there. Again, that addresses the big game hunter us. Also, connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash in forward slash the big game hunter. Have a terrific day, and most importantly, be great.